<laughs> What's up, dog? What's going on? Long time no see him. Yeah, I've been in and out of the woods. I told Miss Daisy, she says, uh, that's enough of that pig stuff now. What do you mean that's enough of that pig stuff? I got two more waiting on me out there. You got enough meat in this freezer. Do not... You, my buddies have been coming down from Michigan, right? They're bringing down boatloads of venison. I've been eating venison every day. See my little... See my little grill right there, guys? Yeah, man, I've been... I've been eating good. Oh, uh, wow, what's this drink here? What is this tall boy right here? Oh, wow. This, guys, is green tea, cold, cold, uh, with cinnamon in it and ginger. You put four bags, you put four bags in a mason jar, green tea, you take your cinnamon douse it a little bit and then scent, uh, ginger a little bit run it up with filtered water stick in your nuke for three minutes set it on the counter till it cools down and then lid it put it in the fridge next morning you got iced tea and then what oh i put in another little ingredient before i nuked it two capsule fulls of damiana oh wow guys Miss Daisy better watch out because I'm going to be horny as a three-pecker billy goat pretty soon here. All right, let's cut the sex stuff and get on to the project here. What am I making here, guys? What am I making? Yeah, I'm making stuff again. Uh, so anyway, pulling my snares out. I haven't pulled my snares out of the woods yet, but I'm going to... She says, shut that job down. you got enough meat. Got enough meat for the year. Don't get any more meat. I said, oh, okay, Miss Daisy. She said, I've been buying your ribeyes on a regular basis anyway, on top of all this other wild, wild and crazy stuff that you do. I said, all right. So I'm getting a little more wild and crazy. We got a bucket here from Lowe's. I picked me up at Lowe's, two PT. Uh, these are three and a half foot long. They got these over where they make to the, sell the railing parts, you know, for your front porch and all that goodies. And then I took my tomahawk here, my badass uh, NRA tomahawk. It's this end here you can take liberals and hit them in the head with this end. It's a pointy end. And then you can, if you want to cut their head off, you can use that end there, okay? But it works good for put down a, 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 put down a piece of uh, plywood and then put your, put your, uh, deal up here and then use your tomahawk and point that all right so what i'm building here okay guys i picked up some bolts here too some quarter inch bolts i think them are two and a half inches long they should be long enough uh we're going to go out i'm going to drill a few holes in the bottom of this for drainage i took to cut the handle off we don't need it no more i need to cut this off here with a saw just a small section, enough to get my two by up in here. I want it flush with this wall here, okay? And then we're gonna drive this in the ground. We're gonna go out in my deer woods, and we're gonna drive this puppy in the ground about yay far, which will be about, looks like about two foot in the ground. I'm gonna have this much sticking up. You know what we're gonna make here, guys? An antler collection device. Yes, antler collection device. And here's how this is going to work, I think. We're going to drive this in. I'm going to bolt it here and there. They're going to have these two by sticking up about this high. A doe deer will be able to come right in here and get her head in here. I'll pour some molasses on this corn too. I'm going to fill this bucket up with corn, guys. Fill it up with corn. If it gets nasty down in there, rot, I'll throw it out. The coons will eat it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to have drainage on it too, so the water doesn't come up in there. And, um, uh, the deer will come in now. See, this is get almost Christmas time. Almost Christmas. So we're going to get some Christmas antlers. They'll start shedding these antlers about the end of, end of January, February, right in there. They'll start rubbing on things, their antlers will fall off. Well, I don't want to go out there, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to buy, guys. 
a Labrador Retriever puppy and train it solely to hunt shed antlers. I'm not going through all that, okay? I don't want poop on Miss Daisy's, puppy poop on Miss Daisy's floor, so I'm not getting a puppy. But you can do that if you want to. Train your puppy from get-go to sniff out antlers, okay? Now, what do you get, what can you do with antlers? Well, you can cut sections out, drill it both ways, drill a bowl in it, smoke cannabis in it. Yeah, I've seen guys do that, honestly. Honestly. Uh, but I'm not going to smoke cannabis and, and deer antlers, no. Uh, you can make knife handles out of it and, and certain things. Um, if you got both antlers, you can put together a fake taxidermy buck. You know, if it's a nice set of antlers, I've got a I've got a big buck on a wall with a, with antlers on it that I harvested. Okay, beautiful mount. Anyone? So that's what we're doing. Let me get let me get this thing in the dirt. Let me get this thing finished up in the dirt, and we'll check it out then. Okay. Okay, guys, check it out. So what I did, it came where the handle was at so I can go across one another. I said, that's a perfect place to get it centered. So yeah, I just take my little Chinese saw here thingy, right? There it is. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. My, my two by this will smash in a little bit. See, this is pretty flexible up here. My two by two will smash that in. Okay. Let's do the other side. Okay, guys. Just about there. Oh, uh, got my salt lick right there. That's a that's a trophy rock. I just took my coyote my coyote trapping hammer that I made myself. Actually, I don't have a welder anymore, so I had my mechanic weld that on for me. That's some heavy, I don't know, looks like eighth inch. Anyway, I had him weld that on, but three pounder. See there, three pound. I drove them babies in tight. I drove them babies in tight. There I've got my drill motor with a 5 16 we're going to be putting in some quarter inch carriage bolts. They're about two and a half inches long. And that deer ain't going to pull that out of the ground, I don't think. We'll put one, we'll drill one hole up here and one down here on the outside. And we'll pass the, the bolts back through this way. And I'll put the round portion of the carriage bolt on the inside. So we don't bruise our deer's nose. I hate it when I get a deer with a bruised nose. Yeah. Okay, let me finish this up. Be right back. Yeah, them two and a halves work great, guys. See there? Drill, drill one hole at a time. Okay, that's my first one. I'm gonna drill another one down here, and so forth and so on. But just drill one at a time, and you won't fight it. Okay, guys, got her bolted in. Look at that. So I got through that corn. This is where I've been baiting them right along. This is where they've been licking this block. Go to go to a tractor supply and get these trophy rocks. They love them. They're they're mined out of Utah. They got all kind of good minerals in them. Yeah. So there she is. You bolted both sides. You talk about sturdy guys. That sucker. Grizz bear, grizz bear is going to have a hard time ripping that out of the ground, okay? Very simple to do. I've just got a few, you know, just a few minutes in it. You could assemble all this stuff. Put your drill motor, your wrench, your little 7 16th wrench in the bucket. Go to the woods, set this up. Make sure to drill some holes in the bottom for drainage, okay? Now, granted, gray squirrels, rats may try to chew a hole in that, but they don't need to. All they got to do is crawl up the post and jump in the bucket and get what they want. All right, let's go bait this thing up.
we're a little off topic here today guys but i just wanted to show you you think the bees are hungry yeah today's date today's date in sunny florida is december 18th they're working the pollen pretty good too i just filled that up just had to just walking by and had to show you that i filled that bucket up to here uh right to here an hour ago and about got it sucked dry already all right moving on let's bait up some deer back at you what do we got here grandma's molasses Woo -wee. god bless granny Oh yeah. Is Steve O sweetening the pot up or what guys? Is old Steve O sweetening the pot or what? Oh my goodness guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We won't lose a drop. All that'll be out of there. That's it. Now look at here. See this arrow shaft? This arrow shaft has got a target tip on the end of it, right? I just shoved it in the ground. It was an extra shaft I had. Look at that tip. Lines up with that bucket, right? Yep. The bottom of that browning camera, I've got a thread in there and it'll slide right on there and it's kind of snug. When I push it on there, I give it a half turn and aim it right at that bucket. I've got a camera that was sitting there last night and this pile was clean. So let's go in and review that and see what we got. This is on autopilot, baby, right here, autopilot antler harvesting at its finest even a even a guys even a even a little uh spike horn comes in here he's gonna screw around and be bumping on this stuff and uh yeah there's just enough room here now i've got a i've got an eight point out here he's a wall hanger I've I've had him on camera for about four years now. He was real pretty. He's he's got a black face on him, black muzzle. Be a really cool wall mount. And I told Miss Daisy I want him on my wall. She said you've got enough fur critters on that wall now. You want to stop it? She said. You you lit. She did this finger, guys. She holds her finger up sometimes. You better listen to me. You better leave him for seed because he's a pretty one. I said, okay, Miss Daisy, have it your way. Let's go check this film out and see what we got. Okay, guys, here's an issue here. But it's not that big a deal, okay? It's not that big a deal. That one's mama and her two kits. They're growing like crazy. There's a big boar coon coming in here too. And this is right during the, the rut too. Not only for the raccoons, but for the deer. Yeah. These are all going to get left for next year's harvest. I've sold about, I think, around 18 this year. Yeah, we'll leave them for seed. I just don't hammer these critters, guys, until, you know, we don't have nothing left, you know. They can, they can, uh, They can eat a lot of corn. What happened here? Okay. A raccoon that came over and bumped my camera is what's happened. See, he's coming over again here to play games with my camera. 
I may have to rig up something a little more substantial on my camera guys because now we're back in the daytime. I've got 64 hits on this thing. Let's shoot through here fast and see what we got. A lot of squirrels. These deer really haven't been hitting this thing during the day, but it don't matter. We're going to, uh... There's our trophy rock. See, it was aimed over here. The coons have, have hit that camera and moved it to the left. It's not where I want. I want the camera over here. So they're always they're always playing games with old Stevo. I'm gonna go down through here if I see something interesting other than limb rats. I'll show you. Crows they like to come and eat corn too. They're a, they're a problem child also, but not bad. Okay, guys, we haven't gone through another night here, but the squirrels all during the day and the crows They have fun fighting over the corn. Here's one burying corn So that's it That's it of that action Yes, sir Just made some more tea with the uh, with Damian in it Wow, Miss Daisy better watch out. Oh, steve -O's able to get wild and crazy here after a while. But, you know, Miss Daisy might be wild and crazy too, you know. It takes two to tangle, you know. All right, we'll find out later on that deal. I don't know, maybe I should YouTube that. You know, if we both get crazy, wild and crazy, I could YouTube that whole thing. But I don't, I don't know if that's legal on YouTube. They may say, no, Steve-O, you, can, you can't be doing that kind of, uh, you know pornographic stuff like that, you know I can do pornographic stuff with wild animals out here all day long, you know doing their natural thing I don't know why humans can't do it. But anyway, there's rules, you know, there are rules you have to follow on YouTube All right Okay guys, that's it for now uh, Now you know how to build an ant antler harvesting device uh, Many things you can do with antlers you can do antler art you can make lamps, you can make uh, cannabis pipes, uh, yeah, knife handles, knife handles, all that cool stuff. I will see you guys soon. Uh, I've been busy, guys. I, I just uh, went to a funeral yesterday evening. That's uh, number two now. Well, I had one die last month, November. And then I have one die this month. Yeah, just before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, very sad, uh, uncalled for. Uh, more than likely, well, the one was definitely, definitely self-inflicted. And the other one, he was in pretty good shape, but you know, uh, if you're not on a carnivore diet, Basically, that's how the human body is designed. If you're not on that program, yes, you're going to plug up. You're going to plug up, and you're going to die before your 100th birthday. Okay, we don't want that. We want you to live a long life. Because, you know, you get, to, you get to fool around with stuff like this. Nature, you get to hunt, you get to fish. Or whatever you enjoy doing. You might like carving walking sticks, putting in, uh, you know, carving in woodies into uh, walking sticks, making those uh, wood spirits. Yeah. So be happy, be strong. We got to keep getting it on. And Merry Christmas to all you guys out there. God bless you. Steve O loves you. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.